Good morning, Prairie Plant Girl here. Um, I am hoping to do a quick video uh, about my pot area here. Um, it looks like we might have a storm rolling in here. It's really getting cold. So I'll try and show you uh, what I came out here to do, but I'm not sure how far uh, we're gonna get with this. The upside is if we get a storm, I just installed two big new rain barrels yesterday so I can fill them up, but let's get on with this project. So if you uh, look here, you'll see I have some very large pots full of corn. Um, they also have onions and flowers and more importantly, what we're here to look at today is squash and melons. So um, I've had a bad case of powdery mildew run through the squash here and I think it's uh, actually spread into some of the melons. Um, so let's get in a little closer and have a look. Oh, I'm getting rained on. Okay, so let's try this again. We've got just, just enough moisture to make me take my uh, equipment inside and uh, nothing else, which is exactly part of what the problem is here. Um, powdery mildew is one of those things that comes along when you have like dry conditions but lots of humidity and that's what we have here. We have a lot of very dry soil but we've had um, a lot of these really light little rain showers and that just adds to the humidity in the air um, but uh, yeah it's been really really humid, really muggy not something we're used to here and it's causing havoc with my uh hey buster hey <laughs> buster you always want to be in the videos it's causing havoc with my um plants here another contributing factor is because i have them planted so tight in here there's just not enough air circulation so i have um in this pot here, I have a butternut squash on this side and a spaghetti squash planted on the other side. And then I have um, corn and there's some onions and all the pots are planted really densely like this. That they're, they're tightly packed in here. We've had ideal conditions for powdery mildew and then this lack of air circulation with the plants so tight is just adding to that. Um, so what I've done is come through and on most of these plants I've cut off the leaves that are affected um, and I've put those in the garbage and uh, you can see like this one's just just starting to get a little bit on it here and the same with this leaf here but um, I'd pretty much taken this plant here down to like four leaves so that's a lot taken off so these ones weren't too bad so I left these few leaves here some of the other vines I've cut back quite a bit but they have some bigger bigger leaves on them so they'll be all right that way and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through and I have a solution in my handy handy spray bottle here of um, milk and baking soda um, it's powdered milk that I'm using and I've just put a quarter cup of it in uh, a liter of water that's actually more than recommended you can you can use less than that, but it won't hurt to use more. And there's one tablespoon of uh, baking powder, sorry, baking soda in here. The milk, um, they've found to be an antifungal, um, and it has worked well to help with uh, small infestations of powdery mildew. Mine has just gotten out of control, so I'm not sure it's going to be totally helpful anymore. Um, the baking soda is, they don't exactly know how it works yet, but it does seem to be kind of a preventative. Um, generally the baking soda is recommended to use with some dish soap. And I think that's just to help make it stick. Um, so I think using it in with the milk as kind of a double whammy um, should help it stick because the milk is sticky and then we're getting both the leaves that uh, need prevention and getting the, the leaves that need to maybe try and knock it down a little bit. Um, the things that you wanna do to help prevent it is good air circulation, um, keeping the soil moist, 
and lower humidity. Um, so obviously my plants didn't get that. And so I'm gonna come in here and kind of try and uh, prevent any worse damage from happening here. So let's get in here and spray the leaves. You need to give them a good thorough spray, um, tops and bottoms of the leaves as much as you can. And I'm gonna go down the vines as well because it does affect the vines as well. So that's what I'm doing here today. So here's a good example on this leaf here. Um, if you've never seen powdery mildew, of how it kind of starts. It kind of looks like a, a dusty, you know, you might think, oh, it's just dirty or whatever, and you just kind of wipe it off. Um, but uh, that's the powdery mildew starting there. So this is a, a baby jack pumpkin. And if you look, there's some leaves nearby that look actually pretty good. So I'm gonna get my, uh, clippers and come in and take this out. Um, after I use my clippers, I always spray them off with a, an alcohol spray or a bleach spray. And I put the leaves into the, the garbage bin. So I'm just going to come in here and find this leaf. And I'm going to take it down as slow down as I can Take it off. I can see a couple more in here. So then I just Spray my clippers. And I spray my gloves and then that helps to keep me from contaminating more things as I go along here. So uh, this milk spray makes things pretty sticky um, and when the sun shines it can get a little bit of a a stink going but it usually dries up pretty quickly and uh, and it's, I don't find it an issue you know once once the milk dries so um, I'm gonna keep going through and spraying on my plants and pulling out any of the the worst infected leaves that I can and um, like I said I'll be spraying right down I don't know if you can see this here like even on the stem there's a little bit of it and I'll make sure to spray the stems and everything down as much as I can here and just keep going through and then um, they say to redo it about once a week so I think that's what I'll be doing here so hopefully that um, gives you some ideas of what you could do if you're seeing powdery mildew on your plants um, I cut them back pretty severely when I when I get it and unless you're taking all the leaves off it's better to take as many of the infected leaves off as you can I still really like the look of this. I have uh, cabbage and broccoli and celery down the middle. And I do like the look of how these pots turned out. Um, the melons flowing on the ground and the squash flowing on the ground, I mean, and the corn and everything. So thanks for hanging out with me in my little melon, squash, corn kind of area here. and. Uh, Hopefully if you've never dealt with it or you're not sure how to deal with it, this gave you some ideas of what to do. Um, I'm going to make sure that these pots are getting um, some supplemental water just to make sure the soil is nice and moist in there too. Um, and hopefully that helps to take care of it so I can at least get the, uh, the things that are growing now harvested before the plants completely die. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.